See the main entrance building. You got this right out in the front. Always enjoy seeing stuff like this. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I'm in Syracuse, New York. And today I'm visiting the Rosman Gifford Zoo. This is a good size zoo, uh, about medium size. Uh, they have lots of lots of animals here, a lot of a lot of cool stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing this place. This zoo is AZA accredited. It's about a mid-sized zoo. As soon as they open, which is about 15 minutes, I will locate a map so we can get a lay of the land and we'll decide where we're going to go from there. Here's their pricing. So it's only $9. Right here at the front they've got the map. And they've got pictures showing all of the different critters they have here. Good job! Best day ever. They've got a giant Pacific octopus. Big. And Brainy. Masters of the Skies. Yes, you got these nice fish. And there's the octopus. You see the octopus. I'm trying to block out all the glare. There we go. There is the octopus. Oh, nice and close. And there, and there's one here too. Ooh, ooh. See how he's stuck to the tank, and then there's one. On the then you get a starfish. Oh, okay. He's got a second hey, starfish. Well, it's in a tank in your here, so it should be okay. Got some anemone. Oh, sorts of stuff. More anemone. There's a fishy fish swim by. Because of the glare, I got my camera right up against the glass. So, another big old starfish. Let me go inside this habitat here first. Got this tank coming up first. Got spotted garden eel. And splendid garden eel. Let's see. Ooh, there's a few eels right here. See how they, uh, they poke up. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, there's a little crab here. Cute little crab. We also have green spotted puffer. There we go. The puffer's pretty cute. That's a little one too. We got this nice tank. This is all the stuff we're gonna see in this tank. So 
So far, the only thing I see in here is these two fish. So everybody else is hiding in the back, evidently. All right, we got moon jellyfish. Conservation. Yes, probably the most well-known species of jellyfish. Because these guys are, uh, basically any aquarium is going to have moon jellies for sure. Got lined seahorse. Seahorses are in these smaller tanks. So I'm guessing they're in here because they are new, or is this? I'm not really sure. So other fish in there. We got an Eastern Massasaga. He's looking for him. There he is. There we go. Where is the snake? Very nice color patterns. Got the Kimberly Rock Monitor. Rock Monitor has a very nice looking habitat. There we go. At the bottom. Nice. Got Eastern Hellbender. Alright, so only thing I see in here right now is that one fish. So the Hellbender looks like he's underneath this rock. Okay, so I can see just a little bit of him here. I can see him like right there. Beauty Sapphire Tarantula. Again, not seeing the tarantula. These critters got all sorts of place to hide. The Eastern Tiger Salamander. The salamander's habitat. Wait, all these critters are hiding really, really well. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. I do see them in the back. There's a salamander all the way in the back. Got banded archer fish. Nice looking habitat. This guy's got two different sides. So yeah, they're called archer fish because they can shoot the water kind of like an arrow. Do you see a bug up in, up above them? You're able to shoot water and get the bug. Pretty cool. Got this habitat here. Even though I don't see a sign, I can see this brightly colored brutal frog. So you got poison dart frogs. But now I see these awesome looking frogs. There's no signage saying what these are. So if you happen to know what they are, I'll leave a timestamp comment down below. Got a Cayman lizard. This is a really nice, large habitat. I suppose you got a very large lizard in here. Very nice. Just sprawled out.
off. There's a second one that someone else pointed out to me on this piece of bamboo. Trying to see the frog. But there's just all sorts of stuff back here. reflection on the water and on the glass but this is looking through a mesh screen and with the turtles you got a helmeted curacao so all turtles have a very nice habitat but you see see the bird right in the back there we go oh oh hop down just hop down, right in the back. There we go. It's gonna come out a little closer, maybe. Yeah, so I had the curacao. All right. So the cool thing about this area is the entrance is here, and the exit is just to the right. So you come right back out. So just to the right of the exit for the first area, you got diversity of birds. This is still inside the main entry building. Looks like we got a free flight aviary in here. There are lots of chirpies going on. There's habitat here with all the sand. Oh! And I do see a little turtle, or a tortoise rather. Wait till it comes a little closer. Some little birdies. Couple more up above. There's a Victorian crown pigeon. Saw one of these not that long ago. One of the other the bird at the top of the palm tree. Got a spoonbill. A couple of little smaller birds just saw running along their back there. Now, I'm not seeing any signage in here saying everything that's in this area. I just happen to notice that some of the birds that I've seen before, lots of chirpy chirps. Ah, this bird's getting a drink of water. Another spoon bill. Inside this building you also have the Honeybee Cafe. I will check back with this a little bit later. Also have rest of locations inside. Right, so I'm showing the lower portion of the map again. I just did all this right here. So I'm gonna head outside the doors and then check out this stuff here. And then I'll move up to the rest of the zoo. Lots to see. So you get the Honeybee Cafe from the outside as well. Let's give you a brief overview. This is right out the main door, the entry building. Right outside you got a Komodo Dragon.
Here we go, there's a Komodo Dragon. That is a nice size Komodo Dragon also. Really nice. So you can see this guy just on the left, right outside the main building that we came in. Alright, so we're going to inside this building here. Show the Komodo Dragon on the map and uh, an otter. All right, coming inside to the left, you got adaptions, nocturnal animals, and more. You got the Mara Mole Rat. Don't believe this one's real. Yeah, you can see all the others running all around in the different tunnels. And these are different than naked mole rats because these rats have fur. Or the naked mole rats do not have fur. Gunnich, Gunnich. So the rats use all these different chambers for different things. I see a larger hairy armadillo. And with me got Hoffman's two toed sloth. So, yeah, this area is kind of dark. I said I brought my smaller camera with me on this road trip. Does that do as well in low light as my larger camera? But you got two of the sloths right up here hanging out in this tree on the hammocks. It's always fun to see these guys. Ever since Zootopia came out, all only time I see these guys, I think of them being at a DMV. Got feather tail glider. See one of them up here in the tree. It's just down by the feeder right here. It says very low light. Back in a feather tail glider. Woo! Fast. Now we got a southern lesser galago. Alright, so you can see how dark this habitat is. So, unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see the critter in here. This tank right here got lined seahorse. Yeah, it's a very nice looking tank. Oh, there we go. There's a seahorse. Seahorse blended in so well, almost didn't even see him. With a flutter. So cool. Got a fennec fox. Here we go. It's a cute little fox. Wow. Oh my gosh, how cute. How cute. Oh, 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 oh. got an itch. Got an itch. They're so cute and fuzzy. Oh my god. This is really adorable. Really, seriously is. Really cute little animal. That North American River Otter. This is the River Otter Habitat. Do you not currently see the River Otter out? So this is right near the front, so I will check back later. Absolutely love to see the otters. <laughs> Actually, the two of them are right there in this little box. They were taking a nap. Right there. So I'll check back a little bit later. Hopefully you see them running around and playing in the water. Got this nice tank. We got bluegill. 
largemouth bass, pumpkin seed sunfish, and rock bass. Girls! Fishy, fishy, fishies. Don't worry. Yep, we will come back for them too. Alright, just on hunch, I came back to the otters. And they're in the water now. They had their nap. Yes. River otters are definitely more fun when they're in the water. They're so big. That's Lila. Oh, they're so cute. So cute. There's two. There's two. Lila's. Love the otters. What should we name the otters? Lila too. Alright, so after the otters, we go through the double doors again. Alright, we got a mer leopard. More information about the leopard. Also got a black and white rough lemur. So obviously you're not going to have these two critters out in this habitat at the same time. So it's a dual purpose habitat. Because other people pointed out that the lemur is underneath this one tree. Guess to try and get out of the sunlight. So as this is right in the front. I'll come back later. Hopefully the leopard will be out. Oh boy, we got meerkats. River meerkats is called a mob. A mob of mere. Oh my gosh, so cute and fuzzy. Here we go, meerkats. Got boxes to play in. Very curious creatures. See, so run right up by the glass and uh, kind of stand up and look. Oh, we got Cape Porcupine. So yeah, side view of the mirror cats and the porcupine is right here, right up against the side. Very nice. Yeah. Von der Decken's hornbill. Also have a crested koa. She's outside. And also a Tevada golden weaver. So if you saw the movie Lion King, this bird will look familiar. Because the character Zazu was one of these birds. In fact, there's a secondary habitat for the porcupine. It's up in the tree. There's also a secondary habitat for the black and white rough lemur. I'm not seeing another black and white rough lemur in here, though. Got Columbus monkey. Alright, so got one of the workers in there getting the habitat all set up. So I will check back before I leave this area. I get some Sayamang. Alright, so doesn't lock there out yet either. I'm assuming once the habitats are set up for the animals, then they will be let out. Got some koalas. One of the koalas here. We got the eucalyptus leaves in there, because that is their primary diet. And there's a second koala. Yes, the koalas are masupals, and they are from Australia. And these two koalas are on loan from the San Diego Zoo. And after the summer, they will go back. So 
So that's pretty cool. They are on loan. So people in this area can see koalas. So up next, we got the rainforest. We got golden lion tamarins. Oh, I absolutely love these fuzzy little animals. Super, super fuzzy and cute. Yes, very nice looking habitat. Yeah. Well, next, we got a cactus monkey. Yes, yeah, so I came back and Columbus monkeys are out. Their habitat was all set up. They got all of their food in the buckets. These are gorgeous animals. The very long fur on the backs. Very, very cool. This area is called Primate Park. So this habitat is dual use. All the different monkey species can come outside. All right, so the Simengs are outside. So that's why they weren't inside. So that's cool. Very, very important. You do not throw coins in animal habitats. Got this nice pond here. Got a nice mallard duck. Other duckies. So our waterfowl friends. The Chilean flamingo. Oh, just laid down. Oh, that's a pretty duck. All different types of waterfowl. Hey! He don't care, he's got stuff to do. Ah, get the baby ducks! Baby duckies! Hi baby duckies! Hi ducklings, how are you? Oh my gosh, you're so cute! Wow! You got a lot to look after, lady! Wow, 10 ducklings, man, that's that's pretty good. It's additional habitat here by the water. Oh, I see flamingos on the other side. All right. Now, for those of you that are familiar with my channel, flamingos are my fav second favorite bird, right behind the laughing kookaburra. Always enjoy seeing the flamingos. These are Chilean flamingos. You have the lighter pink plumage. So yeah, they have all this water to go in. So they are separated from the main lake over there that I showed you first. It's just their own little area. Got a blue crane. It's quite the habitat for the blue crane. So this habitat is a stormwater wetland. Oh wow. 
Blue Crane is gorgeous. How are you? Yes, the birds people watching. Just think to all these animals, we are the zoo. Because we come to see them. Alright, we got Red River Hog. Oh yeah. They're such nice looking pigs. Or hog, I should say. You know, it's 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 called a hog. Rooting around for something. But yeah, so the Red River Hog has a really good sized habitat. So zoo has these easy to follow arrows, let you know what animal is in what direction. Alright, so all these rocks right here, we're gonna go to the back. See the penguins! We got Hubble penguin. There's two. Two penguins! Got flying in the water. Use your finger, The penguin. Oh, you have one of those? Swimming on top of the water now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Flying through the water. One cool bird. Yes, much better view of them above the water. Much more. Got people versus penguins. I mean, people helping penguins, that's more important. In home sweet home. Okay, one of them in the water. Swimming around. Oops, sorry. So yeah, not all penguins are cold weather penguins. Very nice. Got penguins undressed. Yes, yeah, so they molt all the feathers off each year. It takes two. I really like all the greenery that's around the zoo. Not just all asphalt. We got Bactrian camel. Or two hump camel. So these are actually our Bactrian camels. Yes. So um, they have two humps, uh, which differentiates them from dromedary camels, which actually only have one hump. Yes. So what causes the like the one hump to, to flop over like it is? Um, I'm not sure the cause for him exactly. Um, usually in the wild, it would typically be more to um, poor nutritional health will cause him to sort of regress and sort of flop over. Um, but he's just kind of weird. Oh, okay. <laughs> George is just a little bit strange. Yeah, and is the female? Oh, so this is actually another male. Oh, there's another male, okay. Mm -hmm. We have two males in here. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure because the one looks like he's got a little bit longer, longer hair than this one. Yeah, so that's actually because he's um, currently in the midst of shedding his winter coat. Uh, oh, his okay. His brother just did it a little bit quicker. Oh, okay. I go got you. Okay. So actually, this is what they would. So these two are brothers. This guy is still shedding his longer hair that they have during the winter time, and his brother has just done it a little bit sooner. Still has a little bit more to go. You got camel feeding for five dollars. Really big, yeah. It's yeah, so a camel feeding. You get carrots to feed them. Isn't that cool? Crystal workers are feeding them also. Yeah. You guys come all the way down. To Love some carrots. One carrot at a time. You're gonna hold it right at the end. You're gonna hold it right out to him. But once he grabs it, you help him. I got brows. And why do animals need to browse? Yes, yeah, so this one on the right just looks larger it's because it's got that long hair. Fuzzy camel. Next up we got gray wolf. Oh, 
to the gray wolf habitat. So wolf habitat goes all the way back here. So that just is one little spot. I really like all this additional information. Alright, so those two told me there's one wolf that is sleeping, but it's in some high grass. So I will check back a little bit later. Got Sichuan talking. Right, so Taken's habitat is up above. So I'll get another chance to view further up because you see it's a little bit elevated. So following the path around. This is from the penguin area. So Taken has access to come all the way down here. Here we got Armenian mufflin. Alright, so I am not seeing the animal out at the moment. So again, I will check back. I always never get discouraged when I first come to the zoo and I don't see the animal the first time. Next up, you got Turkmenian Markor. World's largest goat species. Alright, so goaty goats are not out at the moment either. So we got quite a few critters to come back and see. Why like these pathways take us right out here into the woods. Got a mer tiger. So this tiger could be anywhere in this habitat. Somewhere sleeping. So it's a very good sized habitat. So again, I'll come back later. Why are tigers disappearing? Got this nice viewing area covered. All the same habitat. Again, I will come back. So this portion of the pathway has lots of benches. Get tired walking. You can sit down and relax for a little bit. Get Red Wolf. Got Red Wolf habitat. See lots of places this animal can be. Lay down somewhere taking a nap. So I'll do my best to see all these animals that I'm missing the first time on my rewalk. Just securing a future for red wolves. Fewer than 20 red wolves remain in the wild. Alright, the Helga Beck Asian Elephant Preserve. It's been nice to see some pachyderms. Alright, so Asian Elephant. information about honeybees. So yeah, without honeybees, be bad news for everybody. So honeybees are associated with Asian elephants. You can see the actual bee boxes in the back. 
Got them all right there. Those are all active beehives. Go. We got mommies with the babies also. Oh boy. Got signs here tells you all the different animals' names. Got Romani. Got Siri. Targa. Karina. Got Doc. Got Molly. You got a dog named Cora. The elephant barn dog. Hi. You wish you heard me call her name? So in case you're curious how the elephants get around to the different areas, with these big giant metal gates, to create a pathway between the habitats for the elephants. Oh wow. Baby elephants are so cute. They throw all the dust and stuff on their backs and that's protect them from the sun. Space for up to 12 Asian elephants. There's the group areas. Yes, this is the elephant barn. This is also where the dog lives. Because the dog is in there to keep the elephants company. Look at this really, really nice water area for the elephants. So yeah, in order for zoos to have elephants, they have to have enough acreage for the elephants. African elephants are larger than Asian elephants, therefore they need even more space. So a lot of these smaller zoos lost their elephants because they didn't have adequate space for them. Elephant pool fun facts. One of the babies is having some lunch. Got woodchuck crossing. All right, we got some Reeves Muntjac. It's this cute little deer. Then there with me got red panda. Love their colors and their nice bushy tail. Yeah, same habitat as the muntjac. Got snow leopard. More info about the snow leopards. side view you can see them right up on top of the rocks in the back snow left has a really nice habitat you can get some water there we go very 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 nice really pretty cat that's Stellar's sea eagle Spot. Uh -huh. All right, so I am looking. She's even got a side view. All right, it's another gentleman pointed out 
The sea eagle is right here in the tree. As the leaves blow, you can see the black of the feathers. So yeah, if I zoom in a lot, that's the bird right there. All right, so right in front of the leopard habitat, you got restroom locations. Restrooms are down a little side path. All right, we got Andy and Bear. There's the bear. Oh boy. Nice to see the bear out. It's a really nice habitat. Lots of space. It's got something in its paws. Alright, so that little green ball that's right next to him has the treats that the bear is eating right now. Looks like maybe a piece of sweet potato. I didn't have the camera ready in time, but the bear picked it up. Yeah, that green ball thing and shook it and then the food came out. Got yeah, some interesting facts up on this fence. Orb web spider. And red tailed bumblebee. So some of these plants would attract all those insects I just told you about. And they even got a nectar feeder for the butterflies and hummingbirds. Got Explorer's Play Space. Got the area here for the kids to play in. You see the arrows back here at the Chilean flamingos. So I got a little bit more to show you over this way. Got a turkey vulture. They're on the right hand side. Hi! You chilling out? You look comfortable. Yes, yeah, so I got a red billed blue magpie. That's yeah, a cute little bird there. Same habitat as the vulture. I've okay, got another one of the little birds in here. Another blue magpie. We've got African pied crow. Hey, birdie bird. Now I kind of walk behind the trees. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hi. That's a pretty looking bird. Got a red-tailed hawk. Oh, that is a beautiful bird. Kind of zoomed in. Make it a little easier to see him. Got a barred owl. Oh my goodness. Beautiful owl. Wow. Got Harris's hawk. And Eurasian eagle owl. And red tailed hawk. Wowie. Gorgeous birds. There's eagle owl. Got a miniature donkey. Wow. Here we go. Hi, donkey. How are you? I feel bad. I don't know your name. Unless you just called donkey. No. All right. So out in the yard, we're gonna see some black Welsh mountain sheep, alpaca, San Clement goats. These goaty goats are in here with mommy. Oh, I got the little baby goats. Oh my god, man. Yep, yep. Hungry. 
Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh wow. And all the rest of the goaty goats. There we go. Alpaca's got a nice haircut. They're usually shaved. They go to their long coat for the winter months, and during the hotter months, they are shaved down so they don't overheat. But, yep, all the goaty goats. That's the barn I was just inside. Got Sapphire Gem. Chicken. Hi, Chicken. How are you? Hi. You are a pretty looking chicken. Hi. Got Lavender Orpington. Oh my gosh. Kept hearing all the chirps going on over here. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Those are cute little chickens. So those are all the baby chicks. Because you got the big chickens up here in the front. Got guinea hog. Guinea hog right outside. It's a nice looking pig. Now for people that like these I really don't get it. I've never had them before. I don't want to elaborate because it's right in front of this this animal. But if you know what I'm talking about, these right here usually come pickled. The next day you got koala outpost. We're all about the koala. So I had two koalas inside. Koalas are cultural ambassadors. Yes, AZA is basically the gold standard for zoos and aquariums. It can help keep the water clean. Alright, so I'm back at the front of the zoo again. I did my complete walkthrough. Several animals I didn't see the first time. I'm going to show you the, the restaurant that they have here called the Honeybee Cafe. I'm going to get some lunch. After that, I'm gonna do a rewalk and hopefully get to see some of the animals that I missed. All right, this is their menu boards. Lots of salads. Sandwiches. Right across the net, you have some specialty drinks. They're up in the wall, thank you for going strawless. Yeah, a lot of places are ditching straws. Now there's if they're using straws, they're using paper straws. All right, so we just had my lunch, so I'm gonna do a rewalk of the zoo, and like I said, hopefully I'm gonna see the animals that I missed the first time. Got the kitchen. This isn't for the people food. This is where they prepare all the food for the animals. Imagine they got like 900 animals at the zoo. So that's a lot of food they have to prepare for them. Multiple meals per day. And I'm sure snacks too. So I'm showing you the map again. See the pathway. I'm going to go the same way that I went the first time. Takes me all the way around and back to the front. So back at the front with the octopus. Oh, moved a little bit. Get a little better view of him this time. See him. Back here to see the Eastern Massasauga. It's moving around a little bit now. Another Fennec Fox on the bottom. Here we go. It's running back and forth. So Southern Tamandu is in with the Fennec Fox. However, you only see the fennec fox. Fennec foxes are so, so cute. 
in the back. That one's too long. His big long ears. All right, back at the Amur Leopard slash black and white rough lemur habitat. And I'm not seeing either one now. So I'm really not sure. There is the other bird that I missed that I missed this morning. All right, so black and white rough lemurs are in their actual habitat now. They're in from the mixed-use habitat. Oh my god, these guys are super fuzzy also. You didn't get a good look at them earlier because they were hanging out underneath the tree. We got North American porcupine. A better view of the porcupine. The porcupine was sleeping this morning when I came in. Look at the Pathos monkeys. Got one grooming the other one's tail. Back here, these guys are right along the side now. Nice and close. What you guys eating? <laughs> yes, these are the sea mangs. Hi. All right, so I didn't realize you can go inside Animal Health Center earlier. I'm gonna go inside now. You see one of the surgery rooms. The animal needs treatment for something or an injury. I'm sure injuries are very rare. Another operating room. So by chance you can be here while they are actually doing one of the procedures on the animals. I'm sure the animals come here for their for their checkups. Obviously the larger animals like the pachyderms, they couldn't be brought here. So the larger animals, they would do procedures and exams near their habitat. There's also restroom locations right inside. All right, one of the animals I missed this morning was the gray wolf. Well, gray wolf is actually right here. Another visitor's pointing them out. As I see, is the fuzz. So yeah, this is the wolf. Just laying there sleeping. Had its head lifted up just a moment ago, but I missed it unfortunately. All right, other animal I missed first time coming through is the Shishman Talkin. Still not seeing them. And when I thought I was going to get another view up this area, that's actually not the case. All right up here is where the elephants are, and you don't really have access to see inside this habitat. All right, the Armenian Mufflon was the other animal I didn't see in this area. However, they are out now, which is really nice to see. And several other people pointed out, you got this little baby fox in here. Don't know if this fox is a wild fox. Because there's no signage saying this little fox is in here. So it could absolutely be a wild animal just to take advantage of the, the atmosphere and possibly getting fed. But yeah, you can see the one has horns. So my guess is the one is a male and the other one's a female. But the little baby is so cute. Look at that. Alright, Turkmenian Markhor is another animal that I did not see. 
So, still not seeing them. Again, there's no guarantee I will see an animal. Another animal did not see the first time through was the Emer Tiger. Just asked some other guests that I saw coming through here if you saw the tiger and that was a negative. But these big cats like to sleep and they sleep a good portion of the day. Alright, so this is another animal that I didn't see the first time, Red Wolf. Now I just checked with one of the workers as she was walking by. There is a pair of wolves in here, a male and female. I guess they're trying to get them to uh, to breed because this type of wolf is so critically endangered. So they're gonna be like any any canine, just being there sleeping somewhere. And you see how thick all the uh, all the foliage is in here. So they could be just out of view. Completely missed this this morning. Got Throlda's white lipped deer. So that's this habitat here. It's right near the elephants. See elephants right there. So looking for the deer, I even came back a little bit on the pathway. Because usually the deer will hang out on the sides of the fences. But I am still not seeing it. Still not seen a deer. All right, so I've looked through this whole habitat, and I do not see the deer. So unfortunately, that's another animal I didn't get to see today. All right, came back in a stellar sea eagle. Wow, that is one giant bird. Wow. Of course, the condor is still larger. Wow, we gorgeous bird. Glad I got to see this bird. Flamingos were just having an argument just a moment ago. See, unless they flap their wings, you can't even see the black that's on the tips. So all you typically see is the white or red. Yeah, but flamingos have black tips. Really, really neat. <gasps> yeah, the other birds came over to say hello. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. In the water here, look at all these mallards. That's a lot of mallard ducks right here. Hi, duckies! Yes, yeah, sir, lots of ducks. All right, see two gray wolves now. Fantastic. Here we go. I got a better view for you. It's really nice that this zoo has two different types of wolves, gray wolves and red wolves. Very nice. So I came back a third time, so this is officially a no-go. All right, so Turkmenian Marklore is no-go also. Came back a third time. All right, so I did come back a third time, so a murder tiger is officially a no-go. You can see the zoo takes advantage of the hilly terrain here. Some of the habitats are are built into the sides. All right, so I came back to the red wolf habitat one last time. It's the third time, and I actually see one of the red wolves, which is fantastic. So I finally got a good view of the gray wolves. Like I said, sometimes I come back uh, a third time. Very nice. Hi, Wolfie! So 
definitely saw you one of the two. Yeah, most likely sleeping somewhere. Just around the side. Very nice. Not many zoos have red wolves. Typically you're gonna see the gray wolves. I came by the stellar sea eagle again and there was actually two of them that were in this habitat the whole time. You see the one on the right and the other one is just behind the branches of that tree. These are good sized birds. All right, back at the front, got the curious cub. Curious Cub is the zoo's gift shop. All sorts of plush. The zoo is closing soon, so that's pretty much why most everybody's up here. But just all sorts of plush. There are some shirts. You know, kid sizes. A little cheaper things here because uh, the zoo is always popular with school groups, church groups, summer camps. So you get all this cheaper stuff, it's only a couple bucks. You know, kids bring their money and they're able to purchase something. It's got snakes. Of course, you can have all sorts of little sets with, with toys. Coloring kit, this is neat. You get markers, you get to color your, your animal. Another stuff here. Lots of plush. You got refilled with drink bottles and and bags and umbrellas. So yep, all sorts of good stuff in here. Cards, activity books, story books. Didn't even notice this tank here this morning. Got tomato clownfish. And bubble tip sea anemone. Even though it listed only those two critters, there's other stuff in here. Of course, you got the anemone. It's a tomato clownfish. A little bit larger than these smaller types of clownfish. They also see the crab here. Here we go, there's a crab. There's more bathrooms. Well, that's a hermit crab right there. Oh yeah, there's Nemo. Here. So yeah. Right up top. See him? Big old giant clownfish right here. Oh yeah, he is. All right, everybody. That is gonna do it for our Monday vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell button right there. All right, everybody. That is gonna do it for my visit to the Rosamond Gifford Zoo in Syracuse, New York. Had a fantastic time. Smaller zoo than some of the others I've been to, but that made it easier to rewalk three times. I tried to show you everything. There was, I believe there was three animals that I did not get to see. The tiger being the, the, the bigger one. But I got to but see I both, to see both of, of the finally. foxes. I was happy about that. Fox. So there was a talking. But I got to see both types of wolves finally. And one of the deer. I was happy about that. So there was so a talking. Other than that, I basically saw everything. Tiger didn't get as good of a view as the leopard as I was hoping so, for. Other than that, but I basically saw everything. I did the best I could. Didn't get as good of a view Leave as the leopard down below as I was your hoping favorite for. zoo animal was that I saw but today. So I did if the best you are I not could, subscribed to my channel and, and you like zoos, what your favorite zoo animal was that I, I saw today. I go to zoos all over the country, so if you are not subscribed to my parks, channel and, and you like zoos, zoos, national parks, I go to zoos all over the country, attractions occasionally. Theme parks, amusement so parks, state parks, interested in any of that national stuff, parks, I upload new videos every Thursday, Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check so out my channel, I'm interested in any of that stuff, I upload new videos, videos every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check out my so channel, I get a little over 300 videos, videos every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check out my so channel, I get a little over 300 videos every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check out my channel, I get a little over 300 videos every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check out my channel, I get a little over 300 videos every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check out my channel, I get a little over 300 videos every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check out my